Hello and welcome to another video on surds and in this video we will be looking at adding and subtracting surds. So I'm going to go through a few examples myself first and then I'll give you some to do yourself. So the first, the first example I'm going to go through is root 2 plus root 8. Now the answer is not root 10 or root 16 or anything like that. It's a bit more complicated than uh, just adding these numbers together. So what we have to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we have to simplify the thirds first. So root 2, well that is simplified, but root 8, we can simplify that. So root 8, how can we simplify this? And if you're a bit unsure of simplifying thirds, I encourage you to go back and watch my previous video on this topic. I will leave a link up here in the top corner. So root 8, well that is the same as root 4 times root 2, and the square root of 4 is 2. So this is just 2 times root 2, or we can just say 2 root 2. So now we've simplified root 8, I'm just going to rewrite this expression. So we've got root 2 plus, and instead of writing root 8, I'm going to write 2 root 2. And notice now we have 1 root 2 plus 2 root 2s. Well, how many root 2s do we have now? Well, we now have 3 root 2s. So if you're a bit unsure of this, just think about algebra. If we have one of something and we have two, we add on two of that something, well, we now have three of that something. And just in this case, that something happens to be root two. So our final answer is three root two. Okay, let's go through one more example. So we've got three root 12 minus root 27. So the first thing to do is to simplify our thirds. So let's start off by simplifying root 12. So root 12, that's the same as root 4 multiplied by root 3. And the square root of 4 is 2, so this is just 2 root 3. And now if we simplify root 27, and I'm going to use the fuchsia colour for this one. So root 27, well that's the same as root 9 times root 3. And then the square root of 9 is 3, so this is the same as 3 root 3. So what do we have now? So I'm going to rewrite my expression. So I need to be careful because I've got a 3 in front of my root 12. So this 3, remember this 3 is being multiplied by this. So this is going to be 3 times root 12. And we're just, instead of writing root 12, we're replacing that with 2 root 3. So 3 times 2 root 3. And then we're going to subtract root 27. And again, instead of writing root 27, I'm going to replace that with 3 root 3. Now over here we can simplify this one step further. So 3 times 2 root 3, well that's going to be 6 root 3. So we've got 6 root 3 and we're subtracting 3 root 3. And now we can subtract our thirds. So just like over here, we've got 6 root 3 minus 3 root 3. Well, how many root 3s are we left with? Well, we're now left with 3 root 3s. So our answer is 3 root 3. That is our final answer. Okay, so it's over to you now. Pause the video and see if you can answer these four questions. Right, so I'm assuming you've paused the video. So let's go through these. Question 1, root 8 plus root 18. So first thing to do is to simplify the thirds. So root 8, that is the same as root 4 times root 2 and the square root of 4 is 2 so we get 2 root 2 and the square root of it, the square root of 8 18 well that is the same as root 9 times root 2 and the square root of 9 is 3 so this now becomes 3 root 2 so now our expression reads 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 so if we have two of something and we add on three of something, we now have five. So our final answer will be five root two. Okay, question two is down here. I'm going downwards instead of across. So we have root 200 minus root 32. So first of all, let's simplify root 200. Well, although the number's big, I can see that that is the same as 100 times two. So that's root 100 times root two. And then root 32, I can see that's 16 times 2. So that is root 16 times root 2. 
So the square root of 100 is 10. So this now becomes 10 root 2. And if we look at the um, expression in blue, the square root of 16 is 4. So this is 4 root 2. So now our expression reads 10 root 2 minus 4 root 2. Well, that will give us 6 root 2. So that is our answer. OK, moving on to question 3. We've got 3 root 8 plus root 2. So let's deal with the root 8 first. Root 8, I can already see over here, we've already simplified root 8. So that is 2 root 2. So that's going to be, let me put the 3 out front first. 3 times root 8, which is 2 root 2. 2 root 2. And we're adding on, we don't need to simplify this. Well, this can't be simplified. This is already in its simplest form. That is just root 2. So now let's um, let's look at this over here. 3 times 2 root 2. Well, that is 6 root 2. 6 root 2. And we are adding on just 1 root 2. So 6 root 2 plus 1 root 2. That gives us 7 root 2. So that is our answer. So if we first focus on the left-hand side, we have 6 out front. So we need to make sure we don't forget that. And then the square root of 75, we can rewrite that as the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And now, um, what do we have in, inside our brackets? So we've still got 6 outside our brackets. The square root of 25 is 5, so this is just 5 times root 3, or just 5 root 3. And then we're multiplying all of that by 6. So 6 times 5 root 3, well, that will give us 30 root 3. So on the left-hand side, we have 30 root 3. OK, we're on to the last question now. And this one is the hardest out of all of them. So we have 6 root 75 minus 2 root 12. So now let's focus on the right-hand side, 2 root 12. So if we put our 2 out front and then inside our brackets, we need to simplify root 12. Well, root 12 is the same as root 4 times root 3. So what does this give us? Well, we've still got our 2, but inside the brackets, root 4 times root 3. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so this is just 2 root 3. So 2 root 3. And remember, we're multiplying all of that by 2. So 2 times 2 root 3, well, that will give us 4 root 3. And notice, we can subtract because we have root 3s. that we have, We've got root 3s on both of our terms. So we've got 30 root 3 minus 4 root 3. Well, how many root 3s are we left with? Well, we are left with 26 root 3s. So that is our final answer. So how did you get on with those four questions? They are a lot trickier than um, other topics with thirds. So usually adding and subtracting is easier than multiplying and dividing. But with thirds, it's the other way around. So adding and subtracting thirds is a lot harder than multiplying and dividing. But don't be too put off because we are going to get a lot more practice with this topic. So hopefully you enjoyed that and it was useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.